Have you ever wondered how much caffeine is in the Nespresso pods that you use? Well we did too, so we've just published a study investigating the caffeine content of pod types in nutrition and health. In this study, we undertook an initial assessment looking at variables such as the machine age and the machine type, the effect of the serve size, which is usually available in small, medium or large, or the effect of production date or sleeve to sleeve variation. To do this we took two pods, the Levanto and the Roma pod, and su subjected them to a series of initial tests. Looking at the effect of machine age and type, we took three machines. The first machine was a machine that was about five years old. We took the same machine and bought a new one, and also another new machine of a different type, and explored the caffeine contents from pods derived from these three machines. We found good agreement, suggesting that there wasn't a great deal of variation produced by the age of the machine or the type of the machine provided the machine was clean. In terms of serve size, we found that the small serve produced less caffeine and that there was reasonable agreement between the medium and the large serve. In terms of production date, when we looked at two sleeves from the two different pods, again we found good agreement suggesting that, that there was actually very little difference between uh, pods that were produced at different times. This led us to part two of the study, where we took the information from stage one and we applied it to the rest of the pods. That is, we looked at the remaining pods using one machine across two sample sizes, the small serve and the large serve. And this is the data that we found. The data in this table is presented in descending order of caffeine content. So the highest caffeine content pods are at the top of the table. And you can initially see that the caffeine content of these pods is a little bit lower than we typically find through the commercial outlets. You can also see that the pod intensity ratings bear no resemblance at all to the caffeine content. So our take home messages from this study were that when using Nespresso pods, the caffeine content is usually a little bit lower than we find from commercial coffee, that the intensity rating is for flavor, it's got nothing to do with the caffeine content, and that the data can be used to help us estimate caffeine intakes. Thanks very much.